Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Janice. And this is me and you're watching Al Kisha TV. TV. Welcome to our special loop for the Al Kisha PC game deals. There is a special code hidden somewhere at the studio. This code can be used to complete an entry and answer a special question from our game giveaway. Yes, this awesome giveaway gives you the chance to win 20 coins every day. Simply type exclamation mark deal in the chat to access our giveaway page and complete all entries. So, good, good luck. luck. Our headlines, we have nominees for the Game Awards 2018 announced. We have Revolver War 3, searcher who discovered unlimited free game bug with $20,000. PUBG is officially coming to PS4 this December. Fallout 76 beta achievements won't re retroactively unlock at launch. Monster Hunter World packed with events this November. Ash is now live in Overwatch. We also have Epic Games removes Glider Redeploy mechanic in Fortnite. First details on next two operators for Rainbow Six Siege revealed. And another Fortnite update and two more. So heading to our first update. Well, the nominees for the Game Awards 2018 have been named. And yes, there are 30 categories this year including Game of the Year. And also we have your Game for Impact, Best Ongoing Game and more. Nominees for the Game of the Year are Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Celeste God of War, Marvelous Spider-Man, Monster Hunter World and Red Dead Redemption 2. Winners will be announced on December 6th. You can vote for your favorite games at the Games Awards website. Now we have your Evolve Rewards researcher who discovered unlimited free game, a free bug with $20,000. Now yes, Evolve has awarded $20,000 to a researcher who discovered a bug that apparently generates thousands of CD key codes for any game on Steam. The bug can be exploited by changing a single parameter. And also the researcher named Artson Moscow Whitney used the bug and was able to generate 36,000 codes for Portal 2. They contacted Valve about the bug back in uh, August and the company has issued a fix just this past week. They awarded him $15,000 for contacting them personally and another $5,000 for keeping mom while they fix the issue. Now we have your PUBG update. It has been a long time coming, but PUBG Corporation has finally revealed when Player Unknown Battleground will be arriving on PlayStation 4. In a post over the, at the PlayStation blog, development project manager June Choi announced that PUBG will launch on December 7th with four editions up for pre order. Those who pre order will also be treated to a Nathan Drake dessert or desert outfit from the Uncharted series, Ella's backpack from The Last of Us, and an exclusive PSN avatar and a PS4 theme. And also, guys, we have here for Fallout 76 bad achievement won't retroactively unlock at launch. Heads up, achievement hunters, although most of your progress from the Fallout 76 beta carried over to the full game, your achievements did not. This means that you'll have to either re-earn them with your current character or create a new character to get them. If achievements don't bother you too much, then you should be just fine. P Times explained in a tweet that achievements and trophies don't work retroactively, which is why all of them will have to be re-earned.
And now we have here Munster Hunter World packed with events this November. Looks like November is one busy month in Munster Hunter World. On November 16, the special crossover event with Devil May Cry 5 will be launched and will last for two weeks. During the event, players will get a number of special items which include a tan 15 sword and uh, armor set. Lanustra will also be heading to the game on November 22nd, guys. And there is also the Kultara Siege, which ends November 15th. So those are the special dates for the busy Monster Hunter World November event. Check this one. And also guys, we have your ass is now live in Overwatch. Overwatch patch 1.30 is now live and which means the new hero Ash has gone from the PTR to the live server. Ash packs a semi-automatic le uh, lever auction rifle and uh, a short range high impact sidearm then or which can actually knock enemies. And also our Ash backwards too and here are some ultimate summons B to O B, a big bad omnic that can flow through enemies with ease. Bear in mind though that the update is a 20 gigabyte download and will require a full reinstallation of the game, something Blizzard announced earlier. And also, she Ash won't be available in competitive play for two weeks. Also guys, here we have Epic Games removed the glider red ploy mechanic in Fortnite. Now Epic Games has rolled back the glider re redeployment feature for Fortnite in the version 6.30 update. For now, the mechanic has been restricted back to big game modes as it had been before the V6.20 update. Epic said we did not live up to expectations of quickly iterations on the mechanic and communicating plans. This just means that Epic will take more time on making sure that the mechanic is balanced and uh, that no abusive or disruptive uh, play styles can be developed around it. That's from Fortnite and now next update, first details and next two operators for Rainbow Six Siege are revealed. The details of the first two Moroccan operators of Rainbow Six Siege have been revealed. Now these are leaked information as the complete reveal is said to be on November 17 to 18. First up is the defender, Jalalakaid El Fasti, who was able to rise to the ranks of Royal Moroccan General Marine. One of his gadgets is the Rutilia Electro Claw or Electro Claw here, which can electrify any walls or shield. The other operator is Nomad, an attacker, and she has some kind of concussion and or shockwave explosives that pops up enemies in the air. guys, Fortnite NFL skins removed after less than a week. Now, the NFL jersey skins have been removed from the Fortnite in-game store just under a week since they were added. Epic Games said that players who already purchased their NFL skins can keep them. Whether or not these will be back in the game, is, is anyone guess at this point? It is also not clear why Epic Games decided to remove the skins from the in-game store and why they had to remove it after a very short amount of time. I think be the reason. Can you find out?
And uh, now let's move on to Toronto Esports, dropped out uh, of Overwatch League. Following a team name dispute, a series of initial tweets, and an ultimatum from Blizzard, Toronto Esports has uh, dropped out of the Overwatch League. Toronto Esports managed the contenders team of Boston Uprising named Toronto Uprising, but was instructed by Blizzard to remove Toronto from their brand as Toronto Defi Defiant had bought exclusive naming rights. Toronto Uprising will continue to compete as a team under a new brand, details of which they'll announce at a later time. And also guys, Fallout 76 post-launch updates revealed. Now Bethesda has shared a post about Fallout 76 post-launch updates and it is called Launch and Beyond. And so guys, here we got to know who or what the devs are currently working on for the game. The list includes camp, building improvements, new events, new quests, character respacing or re-spacing here, new vaults opening and faction-based PvP system and so much more. The post also included that the developers would want to create a new type of Fallout experience for the players. The post can be seen on Bethesda official website. And uh, guys, we're now down to our last but the best update every loop. That's our LK Ship deal of the Shop.com is Lost Horizon, an adventure game released in 2010. The best price listed on our website is actually at 66 cents. On Steam, it retails at $9.99. I mean, 9 euros and 99 cents. Get this today through our price comparison and you'll save 93% on your CD key purchase. To get more of our featured deals for today, type exclamation mark deal in the stream chat right now. That's right, and uh, make the smart choice and compare CD key prices only here at altkeyshop.com.